I remember reading the script and really, I hadn't read anything like it in terms of the conceit of the piece. And that fascinated me. And it meant as an actor, you could play two sides of the same character. Yeah, it was controversial. This was about an affair. And from my point of view, I really wanted to challenge the stigma of affairs and they happen so often so surely something must be uh, they can't be all wrong in some ways so i wanted to challenge and ask you know have these two people falling in love that are both married and i knew that she was going to get a lot of stick for being the woman and i knew and we knew sarah Treem as well the writer was very aware that my character would get a lot more could get a lot more antagonism from press and from people watching it because it's a woman and you're always seen as... And he's the married yes. man with the kids. Well, she's married as well, but right. she he's got kids and women are often seen as the vixens Scarlet. and the Scarlet Lady. So, <laughs> and of course, in his version, that's how I'm sort of perceived. And then in my version, it's a woman who's you know lost a child. So I think Sarah did help out, major help me out, in terms of giving me a dead child. Um, that was sort of no, a, it's true. It made you it, very um, yeah, and it made, exactly. Yeah. It made me have, it gave me justification, which I shouldn't necessarily have to have. But I think sometimes those controversial characters are most interesting, and you find humanity within. That's the, that's your job as an actor is to find, be empathetic to who this character is and why they do these things, and find that truth and that love for that character. And I know what you think you see. Tell me. Well, some easygoing girl who's gonna shake you up with her free spirit, so by the end of the summer, you can go back home to your boring life with a bounce in your step. Well, I wish you'd at least give me the chance to disappoint you. Yeah, well, I'm not that girl. And I won't rescue you from anything. My major concern was the time, yeah, signing up to something which you don't have a clue how it's going to turn out. Oh, yeah. It's frightening. That's scary. And I, you know, even halfway through the show, I was like, I, I can't go even deeper into these depths of despair. I mean, I'm going further and further <laughs> from mental breakdown. And I, I literally was like, I don't know how I'm going to do this. I've got five weeks left. I phoned my mum. Mum. It was like a oh mum call. I was like, mum. Oh, trying not to mess up your yeah, yeah. <laughs> She flew out because she was like, oh, I'm going to be there. And um, But it was that moment of going, I don't know how I'm going to get through these... God, God, cut myself. You did bear the brunt of a lot of I've the I've got to walk the in sadness. the sea. I've got, oh, I was like, oh my God, this, how do I even get the journey of this to make it work? And once you're in the work, the anxiety goes away. You're actually just in there digging deeper and finding the journey through. I only done one sex scene before and, um, and it didn't show anything. So this was, there was a demand, obviously again, it's about, it's called The Affair. There's a sexual content in it. And I was always quite insistent, and Dominic and I were really insistent that scenes had a narrative. You can't, I mean, to do just a normal generic sex scene, they've been done so often badly as well as good. So I always feel like if you're gonna do it, it has to say something. And you have to, there has to be a journey going on in, the, in both people. And we worked really hard with the showrunners to say, is this necessary? Are we, what are we saying here? I think there's an assumption sometimes that women are the point of titillation, literally. Yeah. And I think that that's still an assumption that's made. And I wanted to get my contract like equal orgasms. You know, like every female <laughs> orgasm has to be a male orgasm. You actually requested that? I didn't, but I'm thinking about it. <laughs> yeah, only, only because I sort of feel yeah. like there should be, there's always, yeah. the camera always lands often, often lands on the female and asks the female to provide that. Right. Um, whereas I think it's, it's equal, right? Sex is a, is a kind of, it's happening between two people. So I don't know, there's still, I think there's still more to be done in it. And I think that there is still a, an assumption, but, pe but in these shows and what we all have been playing in these shows is really interesting women, conflicted women and complex women. And that, and part of your relationship and who you are is sexual as well as anything else. So it's really interesting to bring that into those scenes. And that's starting to happen, which is really exciting. Thank you.